Chinese President Xi Jinping says 140 countries have signed up to participate in the Belt and Road Initiative over the past eight years. The partnership has guided and strengthened cooperation and economic recovery amid the global pandemic. Each party has promoted communication in policy and connecting through infrastructure, trade, finance and people-to-people -people exchanges. Each has initiated collaboration that benefits the people and build a partnership via multiple spectrums. This has inspired new potential for future development. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi says the trade volume among the Belt and Road countries has nearly reached 1.4 trillion U.S. dollars last year. This is thanks to collective efforts among the countries in the region to build a firewall against the coronavirus. We've insisted on fair consultation. In the Belt and Road family, each participant is equal despite the size of its economy. Every single collaboration does not have any political preconditions. We won't impose political power on others or become threats of any nations. China has exported and donated around 400 million doses of vaccines to around 90 countries across the globe. In the near term, the Bell and Road Initiative is focusing on vaccine development and environmental partnerships among members of the initiative. This is on top of continued collaboration in infrastructure and trade. Asia and Pacific region is developing at the fastest speed with great potential and the most active collaboration. It takes up 60% of the world's population and 70% of the world's GDP. The region has continued to play an important role in fighting the global pandemic and boosting economic recovery. It is a place for cooperation and not a place for geopolitical chess game.